What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, this is gonna be sort of an off the cuff recording. Basically, I really, really like playing Spike Myth Cup. Biggest Dynamax hater is biggest Spike Myth Cup fan. Who would have guessed? Uh, if, if you're unaware, I feel like I have to make this clear every time I talk about this. Spike Myth Cup is just series seven slash nine with no Dynamax. So basically, yeah, uh, no restricteds, no Dynamax. That's the only real rules going on here. And it's a format that a lot of people will be practicing going into Gen 9, since we are no longer going to be able to use Dynamax in Gen 9. So yeah, um, the only place you can play it right now is going to be the Showdown uh, VGC room. However, I was told here by a mod that we are indeed going to be getting a Spike Myth Cup ladder on the Showdown uh on the showdown on, on like the showdown ladder so hopefully we'll get that up soon because i actually want to be able to like record like showdown live sessions and stuff uh but yeah i figured since there is a tour starting super soon right now um i would just grab a couple of games and talk about the team that i'm using because uh, i don't have a i don't have a video ready for today team that we're using is going to be Galarian Zapdos with Safety Goggles, Defiant, Quick Guard, Close Combat, Taunt, Brave Bird. We have a pretty specially defensive Tapu Bulu with Protect, Bulk Up, Leech, uh, and Close Combat. Choppleberry, Stack Attack, a standard set. We have a Wiki Berry, Politoed, could be Citrus to be honest, I don't have a Citrus laying around anywhere, so I could put a Citrus there, but I do like Wiki. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm barely living certain hits, so Wiki might be better. We got Protect, Helping Hand, Scald, Icy Wind. Uh, we have enough special defense to take a non-Life Orb Reggie Lucky Thunderbolt, as well as a Grassy Glide from Rillaboom in Terrain, uh, if it's 196 attack. If it's higher than 196, then it's going to be a roll. Hold on. <laughs> We have Swift Swim, Life Orb Kingdra, and Shukaberry Incineroar. But let's go ahead and get into it. So yeah. This might be a shorter video because I'm only really going to be playing games on here uh, in this in this ladder tour. And honestly, if I end up getting knocked out early, I'll just take matches from like other people in the room. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. So yeah. Let's see. We see Urshifu, probably the face of this format. And a few other things that could be kind of problematic. I do like Zapdos on lead, to be honest. Zapdos stack attack seems oppressively good. I can bring my Incineroar in the back, and Tapu Bulu isn't bad either. So my game plan here is going to be to quick guard uh, and get off my trick room. Uh, if I just go for quick guard and trick room, I should always be able to get it off since uh, I block any fake outs. Uh, and that also allows me to put pressure on things like a Tapu Lele lead, or even just like, what's what's the word? Um, tank a fighting move with Choppleberry. Actually, that's a calc I totally need to run. I, I actually don't know if I take uh, close combat from Urshifu. <laughs> that is a real concern I have that I sh probably should have looked into. Let me check. All right. Stack attack a Urshifu. Close combat. Okay, yeah, no, like with, with the berry, we eat that. And that's a lonely stack attack too. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, a pretty nice lead for me. Oh, I really don't want that to be Electro Ball. I really need it to not be Electro Ball. I'm pretty willing to sack my Zapdos to get rid of Regieleki if this does end up being Electro Ball. So I will just go for the close combat and Trick Room. Because Electro Ball can straight up annihilate Stack Attacka. Okay, cool. I got my Trick Room off. Uh, I'll be able to get in my Incineroar here. And that puts a lot of pressure on pretty much everything. If this is Sash Regieleki, it's going to be in my best interest to... Let's go for the Fake Out in the Body Press. That'll KO. I could also Gyro Ball, and that would probably just straight up annihilate Regieleki. Alright. I'm going to say in this position, it's in my best interest to get in my Tapu Bulu. Or I could try to just annihilate Urshifu. I really doubt I can pull it off, though, is the issue. Let's do this. There's Pharaoh. I'm going to parting shot out here. I still don't know where the Sash is, but I should be able to KO this guy. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of risky. I think I want to... I need to start dealing some damage. I could double this this Ferrothorn and come close to KOing, but it's really, really close. It's probably my best interest just to go Incineroar and bulk up here. Yeah. Oh, Gyroball did a decent amount. Uh, I need that to like not be triple axle. <laughs> if it's triple axle, I am in a little bit of trouble. Uh, however, 
This thing doesn't want to take a Flare Blitz. In close combat, it's it's a roll to KO, but I imagine it just doesn't. Let's go for the Zarina. They tend to be Assault Vest. And both of my Mons should be out under speeding here. Nice. And yeah, uh, they don't have very many uh, very many options for dealing with my Tapu Bulu unless they have Poison Jab on this uh, Urshifu, which honestly, not, not a big deal if it does. Let's go stack attack it here. Um, and I think I just Horn Leech because they need to get rid of Urshifu here and I can deal with everything with like Incineroar. They go for the sub. I'm going to get some recovery here. I'm fine with this. Yeah, Gyro Ball did almost nothing. Is it in my best interest to Trick Room? I would say it probably is. They haven't revealed the tech yet, but I'm almost certain they have it, and I should be able to tank that. The only issue is like a body press double up will KO me, but I'm pretty certain I'm in a winning position now. Yeah, this is a position that's pretty hard to lose from. Uh, I just go into my Incineroar. I go for the Horn Leech onto the Regieleki. We did see it has Protect, which could be a little bit annoying. Or if I'm a, I'm a goat. Actually, I am a goat. Guys, I'm a goat. I'm a goat. Bah. Or nay. What noise do goats make? We snaw. Check it out. This is a we snaw moment. Told you, we snaw. All right, fake out Horn Leech. That's game. Nice. Can I get a Wee Snaw in the comments right now? Okay. Yeah, yesterday I got second place in, in one of these tournaments. It was like a 50-person tournament, if I remember. So, I already know this team's pretty decent. Uh, ooh, I haven't had to face a Sylveon yet. That's actually a Pokemon that could do some massive damage to me if I'm unprepared. However, once again, the Zapdos stack attack lead feels amazing. I need it to not be Choice Band or Shifu. Because, <laughs> wait, can I take a Choice Band or Shifu hit? No. No. How much defense would I need to do that? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's special attack. Hold on. Am I, am I wasting precious time to select my Pokemon? No, I do want to see this cow because it might be worth it. That is far too much investment. No, we're not doing that. Um... Incineroar is like invaluable here. Do I bring the Bulu again? I think I just bring the Bulu again. A lot of things can wall out Bulu, but Bulu is also like pretty decent. Just like close combat, you know? This game will be carried on the back of our friend, uh, Stack Attacka though. Yeah, I, I just, I just quick guard here and get my Trick Room off. They should KO my Zapdos, but I don't necessarily care. Because now, it's gamer time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gamer time. Um, I think I always go Incineroar. And I'd imagine this thing's going to be... I don't even fake out. I'd imagine that this thing's going to be um, Assault Vest, so I'm going to go for this KO. Okay, well, I got that entirely wrong. Flare Blitz. I did crit the Incineroar, which is kind of nice. And I still have Body Press as an option. Let's go for the Parting Shot Body Press. That goes through. Awesome. Still have the Body Press option, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think I bulk up, and I just Body Press this thing. There aren't a lot of Pokemon that can come in. I could also just KO the Sylveon. I kind of wanted to just KO the Sylveon, because I definitely underspeed this Incineroar. Let's KO the Sylveon. I'm kind of sick of it. I don't know if this KOs. Yeah, it comes pretty close. I need a defense boost. Like, really bad. Urshifu Rapid Strike. Do I care? I don't know if I care. I think I bulk up here. Or maybe I double. Hmm. 
Honestly, the bulk up seems really good considering everything on the field. Let's go in Sinor here for the fake out next turn. I think they should protect the Urshifu here unless they're choice banded. Yep, nice. Uh, let's bulk up again, and I'm actually going to fake out their Incineroar. I don't need my guy to live, but I would prefer if I could get this off, you know? Now, you might be saying, Moxie boosted, that's the hardest throw I've ever seen. And you'd be wrong. You would be wrong. I'm not going to tell you how, but you just are. Let's go for the Horn Leech onto you. I'm going to attempt to Trick Room. Pretty sure it fails. Um, however... I do eat this, I think, if I get the low roll here. If I get the low roll, okay. <laughs> the crit mattered. The crit mattered, all right. Let's get, like, all of my health back. What's left in the back that's, like, super threatening? I can close combat here, and it should KO, but I'm going to take a lot of damage for now. Okay, well, that's to be expected. Let's just bulk up. No, let's just keep bulking up. Give me a reason not to bulk up. The Incineroar is going to come in? I don't care. Knock off. Hmm. I will simply bulk up again. U turn. Incineroar comes back in. Listen, this game is going to be decided if I get a crit or not. Okay, I lose. <laughs> All right, GG. Yep. Yeah. I think I let off pretty strong and then I fell off towards the end. Uh, let's just grab a couple more games. Why not? This is a fun format. I do enjoy playing this format. Hold on. Um, Yeah, I guess question of the day. What do you guys think about Spike Myth? I enjoy it. I think it's a very fun format. I suppose I just cut to when I get a match. Oh, there we go. Hello, Enrico. All right, we, we got a lot of challenges. Let's just do this. Uh, double genie seems terrifying. That's double prankster possible, possible, uh, defiant, of course. Hmm. I do quite like the Zapdos stack attack lead because, uh, there isn't like a, a good option in any situation for my opponent there. If they lead off with a genie, I can quick guard the taunt. If they lead off with crocodile, I get plus one. I definitely want to bring this Incineroar, and we have, like, almost never brought Rain. And I think in this matchup, it's still not a good idea to bring Rain. Because those genies could, like, completely annihilate me. Do I bring the Bulu here? The Bulu doesn't seem great. Maybe I bring the Toad. I believe in the Bulu. Yeah, no, this, this goes crazy if I quick guard here. As long as they're not super power, and even if they are super power, I live. I don't think I've revealed this team on stream yet. Nice. Nice. Okay, this rock slide's about to go crazy. Probably Defiant Tornadus. Um, but I can totally just like Brave Bird here and rock slide and it'll KO. Ooh, that didn't do a lot. Come on, I need this to KO, please. Not quite. We get the flinch. That's all we need. That's that's what it's all about. Listen, people might say Pokemon's a game of skill. No, you silly goose. Pokemon is a game of luck. There's a difference. That's totally defiant, though. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do I gyro ball this thing, or do I just rock slide? I think I just rock slide and hope for the flinch. Because <laughs> I totally live the high jump kick. Yep. Shout out, uh, shout out berries. Shout out berries. I'm going to go type with Bulu here. Uh, maybe I just don't. Maybe I just go for the KO. Let's CC this thing in case they go crook. 
Okay. Well, that could have gone better. I go Incineroar here. Okay, good. They went Gengar. I still have my Trick Room. Oh, man. This could annihilate me. I need to get rid of this thing. Yeah, had I connected that rock slide, I would have just won that turn. He underspeeds? What? I did not expect that to underspeed. Also, I'm on cord. I need this thing to like not protect this turn. All right, didn't protect. Cool. Sludge Bomb doesn't KO. Every, like, listen, I should eat whatever hit from this thing. So I always just like horn leech it. And Flare Blitz it as well. The only thing I have to be scared of is like Thunder Wave actually paralyzing me. And I, I like hard wall out Thunderous since they don't typically run any flying moves without Dynamax. Oh, that came close. All right, that should be game. GG. They have to crit me very, very hard. Nice. All right, cool. Nice little game there. Um, who else? I, I think I'll, I'll I'll do poop pasta next, but <laughs> go with JK Angels. Ooh, a rain team. This is pretty cool. Um, there's a message here. All right. I really like the stack leading. I still think quick guard stack is like absolutely goaded, but I have to be super careful. This is another game where I... Ooh, wait. My rain is better than their rain. It is. It just straight up is. My rain is straight up just better than their rain. I think I leave the Incineroar and I actually bring Kingdra. Um, Am I concerned with the possibility of Electro Ball? Perhaps. I don't think Nihilo goes gonna, has Earth Power. Okay, I didn't get Electro Ball. That's all I really care about if we're being real. <laughs> that was my main concern there is that I might have to experience the pain of getting Electro Balled. Um, I am still concerned about like a Focus Sash. Let's Horn Leech and oh, I'm not, I'm not brave enough to do what I should do. Horn Leech Body Press should do it in case they want to go into Incineroar. But I totally could have Gyro Balled there. Bolt switch going into Incin. I assume that looks... That isn't specs. It just hits that hard. It, it's just that strong. Okay. Well, here I would say it's in my best interest to protect and go Kingdra. Triple Axel. I should be slower than this thing. Should be slower. Uh, let's get rid of Zarina. Because I think once everything's said and done, stack attack, it does go crazy. Ugh, but do I get rid of it? Do I care about Incineroar? I think I always live a hit from Incineroar. The only issue is I'm totally slower than it. Let's, let's do something a little bit crazy. Okay. That's what I wanted. Because now I can kind of go on the offensive with Body Press. I think that's Magnet Regieleki by the damage it did earlier. Still did a decent amount. Um, probably in range of Gyro Ball. But it's safer just to like Body Press the Regieleki here and probably go right into Bulu. Yep. 
Not quite a KO. I'm probably going to get Volt Switched. No, no Volt Switch. Okay. If I can get rid of this Regieleki, we do have a chance to win. So I attempted Trick Room. And I actually close combat, funny enough, I think. Let me think. If I close combat here, I KO the Incineroar. Well, I don't KO the Incineroar. I think I still just have to do my thing. And they could also just miss. Yeah, I Horn Leech. And I Trick Room. They had Jump Kick. They were too scared that they might miss. Okay, this is winnable. This is totally winnable. I double protect here. And it's also not Assault Vest. We did see Citrus Berry. So I think what I do here is this next turn, I have to Muddy Water and I have to Close Combat. Because I don't think I get KO'd by Zarina ever. I miss the Incineroar. Okay, that's awful. They land the Triple Axel. They only get one hit. That's huge. <laughs> that makes up for the miss, I would say. I would say that makes up for the miss. Um, am I brave? I could win by doubling the Sarina this turn. Hurricane into close combat should do it. I just need my Tapu Bulu. I need to not lose my Kingdra or my Bulu. Or my Bulu. Or my Bulu. Okay. All right. Um, still not unwinnable. It literally comes down to... They don't have the move they need. I protect here and the next turn I have to land a Hurricane. And then I can win with Muddy Water. Connect. Okay, we lose. <laughs> GG. A little bit of accuracy issues, but that's fine. Let's do poop pasta. Okay, this is... Listen. I... There's no Dynamax, but Reggie... Reggie... Reggie Gigas is still kind of scary. Especially since my Zapdos is a speed tie. That being said, they hate Trick Room. They really hate Trick Room. Politoed Kingdra is also like a really good lead, but I definitely want Trick Room here. Uh, I think I go Politoed Bulu. Yeah, I don't get killed by Archeops ever, so the Trick Room's pretty much free unless they, unless they have Taunt Archeops. I don't think they have Taunt Archeops. That doesn't feel like the play. Does Archeops get Quick Guard? Hold on. Hold on. This is a science moment. As a Quick Guard bird enthusiast, I need to make sure. It does. Oh, crap. Uh, do I just go for the KO? You know what? I have to... They have it. They have the thing. They had the thing I didn't want them to have, and now that they have it, it's probably over. Ah, okay. Actually, I probably just gyroball you. I can also Parting Shot. Are they an Earthquake? I should tank it. Meteor Beam, interesting. All right, well, I still get a KO here, which is pretty nice. And I do get a Defense Boost, which is really all I truly need to win, I think. Let's go with Politoed here, because most of the things that want to come out don't like Politoed. Um, and Helping Handed Body Press may come close to KOing a Regigigas. I'm not sure. That's Entei. Okay. I really like that Entei came out here. I think I just want a Helping Hand a Rock Slide. But I could also just Scald and Rock Slide. i just do that. Fake Tears. Wait, that's a, that's a physical move. That's a physical move. I mean, it worked out for you, but that's a physical move.
Okay, yeah, it's just Incineroar. I'm pretty sure we just win now by virtue of I click Body Press and Scald. They have to have like Energy Ball here. Actually, if that's the case, it's my play to Protect and Body Press. Scorching Sands and Cinera is kind of crazy. Uh, however, I should still just win here. They're a special attacking Incinera. Are they like choice specs? Incinera doesn't have a bad special attack set, but it's only like 80. You know, it's, it's very mid. Fake tears. Do I get KO'd by like... I don't think I get KO'd by anything in this position. Scorching Sands. Yeah, we're good. I Horn Leech. I... Maybe I Protect Icy Wind. I'm pretty sure they don't have a, a Grass move. It's pretty hard to fit a Grass move. You have to have like Tailwind. Yeah, okay. Horn Leech, Icy Wind. And I'm, I have a decent amount of special defense here, so I should be fine. Yeah, we'd tank that. Nice. Okay, so that's going to be a win here. An interesting combination of matches we've had today. Won a few, lost a few overall. I do think that the... Hold on, we're going to reject that one because I can't record any longer. But um, I do think that this is actually a pretty solid team. I enjoy running this team. I think it has a lot of options, and I really enjoy Zapdos being viable in this format. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, Spike Myth Cup video, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and also comment down below what Pokemon you're excited to try out in Spike Myth Cup. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.